Welcome to the 2023 Tool Truck Tour. One of our viewers, Daniel G, has been suggesting this for a while, and I apologize that it's taken me so long to get around to it, but Daniel, this one's for you, buddy. Thank you very much for the suggestion. I really do appreciate your comments, and I look forward to reading what you write every week. And yes, I am still working on a day in the light video that you asked me about a while back. It's just taking a little longer to plan it than I thought it would, because I want to get some cooperation from some shop owners and some customers, and I just gotta make sure I play that right and ask the right people and all, so bear with me on that. In the meantime, let's take a look at what I have on the truck. We'll start down on the back wall where I keep a bunch of miscellaneous stuff up high. Here we have some Vampire Lyman style pliers. These are the ones that have the specially made jaws of hardened steel that are squared off so you can grab damaged screws and bolt heads. It also has some serrations in the jaw that allows you to grab things like... Um, hose clamps and other tricky kinds of things that might slip out of the jaws of a regular pair of pliers. These guys are fairly popular. They have different styles, but this is a Lyman style. It's the most popular one that I sell, so I keep this one on the truck all the time. I have inspection mirrors and magnets from Ullman. These are all telescoping. The mirrors are the ones with the light up backs on them, and this is the heavy magnetic pickup tool that is rated for 16 pounds. We also have Lyle oil filter wrenches. These are the ones that you see on almost every tool truck. Lyle pretty much makes this style for everybody. You'll see these packaged uh, the same way for Cornwell and Mako. They're branded for Mac, but they're all the same ones from Lyle. Some K-Tool razor knives here. This is a nice flip-up utility knife. It makes it easy to change the blade. Just pop the old one out, put the new one in. And Lyle has a really cool pair of hose removal pliers. You can use these to remove air lines by affixing a pair of vice grips just below the connector. Insert this between the vice grip and the connector. Spread the jaws and it'll pop off the air line. Way cheaper than having to get those specialty pliers just for the job. These are, I think, $19. The other specialty pliers are like 60 bucks or something. So save yourself some money if you need to pop off air lines. SG Tool has a really good hose cutter. This is the one with the diamond shaped blade. So it'll open wide and cuts up to one and one eighth outer diameter hose. Nice high leverage with those long handles and spare blade is on the wall too. K Tool, Titan, um, there's a bunch of other brands that have these magnetic dishes. These come in round, rectangular, square different size round ones. I go with whatever's least expensive. They're all about the same quality. So K-Tool gets the round ones. These are the uh, five inch round ones. Mechanics Time Saver has a lot of stock socket storage solutions and these magnetic rails here are just one of many solutions that they have. This is the 3 8 one and they twist lock the sockets onto them and with a magnet on the backside they'll stick nicely to metal surfaces like your tool cart lid or they'll stay from sliding around inside the drawer. And another, another uh, stainless steel magnetic dish here. There is, sorry for the lighting by the way, some of these lights need to be replaced and I'm just slowly getting around to doing that. So there's these magnetic storage trays from Titan. These are the rectangular ones and there's some other round ones in back there behind everything. <clears throat> Coil tools, ball caps, and t-shirts are always for sale. So these are of my own design, and then I commissioned an artist to render the to to finalize the design and render it as a file so I can get them reproduced on t-shirts and other merchandise. So this is a skeleton guy in a truck saying, I'm going to hell and I'm taking my tools. Mer, mer. Away he goes, and he's happy about it, of course. Got those in all sizes. Brake line thickness gauge from K-Tool. The million different brands have these. Gearwrench has them, Lyle has them. Uh, just to name a few of them, I just buy whatever's cheapest because they're all the same. This one's from K-Tool and I think they're retailing for like 30 bucks or something like that, 35 bucks. Down here are the square magnetic trays. These are from Titan also, so it's a mix between brands. 
In the knife case, I have some CRKT knives. This is their igniter, and then there's the... Um, I forget what this one's called, Nurk, I think. That's their skeletonized handle. Very lightweight, beautiful swivel mechanism on that. And this is the CEO from CRKT. Very elegant, slim knife, very popular. And down below, I have a bunch of Cobra Tech knives. The four on the left are the King Cobra knives. The two in the middle are the Queen Cobra knives. And the ones on the end there are their Patriotic-themed Cerakote finish knives. All of these are the out-the-front knives that extend the blade when you push the switch up and then they retract it when you pull the switch back. For magnetic test leads, Lang is the one that pretty much makes these for everybody. So if you see leads on other trucks, they're usually the Lang ones. Up top here, I just have some extra Milwaukee M8 and M12 chargers. The M18 one is a multi-volt, so it does both batteries. The three here are just for the 12 volt. Next to these are Ernst storage trays. They're perfect for the inside of your toolbox. They fit nicely in the drawers and they have the black, the red, and the high-vis green. Those sell regularly. I usually have a few of each color, but right now I'm just down to one of each. And forgive the lighting on this shelf too. The gear wrench pit bull pliers are here, and that's a set of six pliers with the rubber grip handles. They also have this soft grip feature on the inside of the handles, which is really cool. I haven't seen others with that feature too. So you can grab anything uh, that you don't want to mar the finish on. So a couple of tongue of groove pliers, diagonal cutters, Lyman style pliers, uh, a smaller set of dikes, and a needle nose set. And then here's where I keep a lot of my ratchets and bulkier packaged items. These are the Gear Wrench 92 four piece ratchet set with the stubby 3 8 the quarter drive, the long handled 3 8 and the long handled half inch. And you've seen these on tool holes all the time. This is the four piece pry bar set from K Tool that has the ladyfoot heads on it. Four different sizes 6, 12, 16, and 20 inches long. Hard to beat at the price of $65. Compare that to the price of say just a six inch one of the snap-on truck their six inch one alone is about the price of this whole set lifetime warranty on them too so uh i don't think i've ever seen a broken one and i sell these all the time i have some milwaukee fuel ratchets there's quarter drive and three eighths drive regular length and extended reach ones these are all the high speed ones it's it's a game changer when they came up with their high speed version of their ratchets Everyone's buying the high-speed one, so I don't even stock the older style with the round black head anymore because they made the head on these more compact and they increased the RPM. So these are much better sellers. I think they finally nailed it with this iteration of the design. If you need what I really do believe are the best pliers you can get your hands on, this three-piece Cobra set of adjustable water pump pliers from Nipex is the de facto in these things. They have a nice push button adjustment. They can grip almost any shape, square, hex, round even. And yeah, they're pricey, but tell me there's a better set of pliers in the world and, and I'll carry it. So this one has a 7, 10, and 12 inch pliers in the set. Uh, you couldn't see it back there, but I have some Sunex sockets back there and some over here. Any of the impact set, any of the impact stuff from Sunex, I'm a fan of. It's either that or Grey Pneumatic. I'll go back and forth between brands depending on availability and price. But for regular old sockets, Sunex is a great way to go. Inexpensive, lifetime warranties, very easy to get taken care of under warranty if we ever need to. Some more of the 90 tooth gear wrench ratchets. This is the th three eighths. The long and the short. Even though that's got the size of a quarter inch ratchet body wise on it, it has a 3 8 drive on it. So this set is fairly inexpensive and insanely popular. You don't necessarily need a set of quarter drive sockets if you have a ratchet like this because you can get all the sizes except for the real small ones in quarter drive that you'll get in 3 8 drive and you'll have the ratchet that can handle all of them.
more from Mechanics Time Saver, this is their lock a socket tray. It's like that rail that I showed you, but you get five rows of socket studs, quarter, three eighths, and half inch drive. And you can remove the end caps on these and swap out different clips if you want to customize the layout. As it is though, it comes to the five rows and heavy duty handles on the ends. It's a very heavy gauge metal that the tray is made out of. So you can load it full of sockets and pick it up and carry it around. Fits beautifully in the deep drawers of your toolbox or the top section of your tool cart. Back here I have brushes from SG Tool. They have buckets that contain 36 pieces, 12 each of the nylon bristle, the brass bristle, and the stainless bristle brushes. Just a plastic handle with a little lanyard loop on the end or you can hang it on a peg. Calvan Tool has some very good stuff and their heavy duty strap filter wrench is one of them. This is the one that has a 3 8 drive and a half inch drive end to the metal bar. So you can put on a spin on filters up to nine inches in diameter and a heavy duty nylon strap. I keep some of the Milwaukee locking plier sets here. This is a five piece set that seems to be most popular with automotive guys because it doesn't have the C-clamp style pliers that automotive guys don't typically want. These are far more useful, I think, than the 10 piece set that has those C-clamp ones in them. But this one is uh, 100 bucks and lifetime warranty on everything in there and just solid quality. More ratchets. Gear wrench has the flex head 3 8 and quarter drive ratchets all packaged together. This is the non locking version of the 90 tooth ratchets. And then they have this very popular set here, which has the 18 inch long 3 8 drive and the 9 inch long quarter drive. And the price on this is, is strangely inexpensive. I think that one's been. I don't know, it's just over $100. And when they put them on sale, sometimes I've seen these as low as 80 bucks in the past. So good set. Grab it when you can if it's on sale. Back here we have the Gear Inch 114 piece tap and die set. I'm going to go ahead and claim that is the best tap and die set on the market. Why? Because it has all sizes of taps and dies, including the larger ones. And it has the most beautiful tap wrenches money can buy. They're these ratcheting tap wrenches that have a beautiful pass-through design so you can put your die holders or your tap collets through the tap wrench there reverse lever on here they're nice and large so you can palm the wrench and have an easier time starting taps and dies you're going to reduce your wobble so you're going to get a cleaner thread cut that way great design i've sold this to a bunch of guys including machinists who love it and other guys in shops have bought them after they got done using the sets that these other guys bought. So very popular set and word travels fast with that within a shop and nothing sells them better than when other people get a chance to use them. Some more gear wrench stuff, quarter drive locking chrome extensions and the 3 8 non-locking four piece set here. Back here we have an Astro fastener and molding remover set, five piece tool set, all plastic. There are heavier duty ones that are metal construction and they do have larger ones from Lyle that I think have 11 pieces in them, but this is a great all around set. It's fairly inexpensive, it's like 25 bucks. So that's the one I keep on the truck all the time. And Milwaukee has some pliers that I figured might be interesting to get on the truck and see how popular they are. A set of dykes, needle nose pliers and tongue and groove style pliers. And the tongue and groove ones, have the metal ends on them that electricians can use for electrical box knockouts. And the nose of the needle nose pliers um, can also be used as, I'm oh, sorry, is it needle nose ones or the, yeah, these can be used as a reamer as well. So they build some extra functions and features into the pliers. And they have lifetime warranties on them, quality set. Up top here we have the non-aerosol sprayer cans from Titan in red, green, and orange. you see me brag about these on tool haul videos before. And no surprise since they came out with the green and the orange ones 
lately that they've been selling more because the display is better on the shelf. People can see them, they're more attractive and people like having the color choices. Next to it is the spill free funnel from Lyle. This is the one that has all the adapters in it. K-Tool is a very good set of snap ring pliers. And I also have some K-Tool socket trays in standard and metric. Next to them are a bucket of Gojo scrubbing towels. Great for your hands and your tools. So it keeps everything grease free and, and clean. Above it I have some miscellaneous stuff like cut off wheel arbors, backing pads for conditioning discs, extra streamlight batteries, air swivels from Dynabraid, some parts for streamlight stinger and stryon lights. Klein's got a very good set of flush cut uh, flush cutters and for $28 you can't go wrong. There are true flush cuts that they don't leave a, a pointy end on, on whatever you're cutting. These are rated for wire unlike the cutters that you'll get from Nipex which are not rated for wire. So these are covered under a lifetime warranty even if you ding the cutting blades from cutting wire. FJC has valve core tools. I'm a big fan of FJC for a lot of AC equipment and Master Cool is another great brand. This is a really good leak detector light with a set of yellow glasses so you can pick up the dye easily. Down here we've got some rethread kits from Lang. This is their 48 piece and their 40 piece. Lang makes this same set for almost every other tool truck in the world. Um, so when you see this on a truck, it's exactly the same, even though it might have the snap on a Mako brand on it. These are some used tools that somebody asked me to sell them for, a compression tester and uh, I think a pressure gauge. Ingersoll Rand has the 119 Max Air Hammer. They just came out with the new ones, the 135 Max, which is even more powerful than this one. But this is great for most jobs, unless you need something particularly heavy duty, the 119 Max for under $300 will suit you pretty well. The new 135 Max is priced up over 400 bucks. So unless you need one that strong, this is a very good all-around air hammer. I got a whole bunch of the K-Tool portable wireless Bluetooth speakers. They're always a popular item, so I keep a bunch of them on the truck, especially because I can offer a discount by buying them in bulk. And if I buy them in quantity, I can take a few bucks off of them, which I enjoy doing any chance I get. 60 watt speaker, really good bass and treble response, nice and loud, and they're uh, reliable units. I think in the years I've been selling these, I've only ever had to take care of one under warranty because it kept dropping a connection. So, <clears throat> I have a very good track record with these. I'm a big fan. I carry the no-code jump boxes. I also have the Chlor ones that are branded under the Solar brand. I do like these because they're much smaller and lighter for the same or even more output amperage and they have a light on them and a power bank function and they have a one year warranty. I, I, I'm a big fan of these. Small, compact, lightweight, great option. Back here I have a Milwaukee M18 grease gun, very popular with the diesel guys. And I was able to get a bundle deal with the grease guns and some other stuff. So for one price, I get a whole pile of tools. I can break them up and offer discounts on them. So I like any time I get a chance to reduce the cost on this stuff and, and offer some discounts over what you normally see in the flyer. And we're continuing with Milwaukee on their four-piece pry bar set. This has an 8, 12, 18, and 24-inch pry bar. These are the I-beam designs and they have striker caps on the ends and a lifetime warranty covers them all. It's entirely possible that you'll break the tip on one of these or some many of them, no problem. I'll just get you new ones and we'll just swap them out. If you need different style pry bar, Mayhew makes this set for K-Tool. This is the Mayhew Dominator pry bar, branded for K-Tool. This is the five piece set that has an eight inch, a 12 inch, 17 inch, 25 inch, and a 31 inch. These are all the curved tips, striker caps on the rubber handles, and that's a solid square bar stock 
on these. Lifetime warranties on them, and the pricing on very good. Um, they're about 100 and something, 80, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Great pry bar. So, you know, I, I put them both on here to give you a choice. The Milwaukee ones are about 115 bucks. For a few more bucks, you can get a five piece set that's made in the USA, or you can get the uh, China made um, Milwaukee ones. Choice is yours. And I'm all about giving people choices on the tool truck. These are terrific nail brushes. It's a three piece set from K Tool. The cool thing about these is they have a little magnet on them so you can stick them to your toolbox, tool cart, or in a metal surface by the sink. They also have a loop here so you can put a lanyard on them or hang it somewhere handy near the sink. They do uh, finger tips and cuticles as well as the fingernails. And I can sell the three piece set for a slight discount over selling them individually. Five, uh, six bucks a piece or $15 for the three piece set. This section of the truck is open right now. Most tool truck guys will keep toolboxes here. I like to use these to keep the adjustable work tables that I'm all out of right now. So I'm looking to restock on, restock on those fairly soon. And when I do, three of them fit in here very nicely. I don't normally carry toolboxes unless I get used ones on. I, I don't sell new toolboxes very much at all. And I don't inventory them. So here I have a big chill blower from K-Tool. This is a 1,200 cubic foot per minute blower. They have a smaller 300 cubic foot per minute one that you can put a heating element on, but this one, because it blows so much air, the uh, heating element would defeat the purpose. It's a four position adjustable base on them, two AC outlets in the handles, and it's surprisingly strong. You've seen that same blower fan on lots of different brands, including Mako and Mac, and I think everyone's got that or a version of it. All right, back here in the dark corner, we have some welding helmets. Titan has a shop iron brand of helmet. They have their flame and skull motif there, and this is their pinup art motif here. This one is on sale for $144.99. I think the flame one is at its regular price of $174.99. Can't go wrong with either one of them. They look great, function very nicely, easy to use. They have nice external knobs so you can change your settings with a gloved hand without a problem and they're uh they're very popular no problems with any one of these that i've sold over the years and i've gone back and forth on brands too uh safe face has very good ones but they're pricey miller and Esob are also excellent but also very pricey and i kind of gravitate toward these because the price is so darn good compared to those other ones and they function really well and they have pretty good artwork on them so they look nice I don't know why I have this. It's a Milwaukee 13 in one screwdriver has Phillips bits, slotted bits, square drive, nut drivers, and Schrader valve bits. Uh, this must have been part of a promo pack or something. So I've got this on the truck for people to look at. I don't have a good place for it. So it just kind of sits back here next to more screwdrivers. This is the 20 piece master set from gear wrench. It's the one that has Phillips slotted and torque screwdrivers it also has a smaller micro drive and two stubby drivers in there the larger screwdrivers have hex bolsters at the base of the handle so you can attach a wrench to them if you need extra torque i have some tool grid clips here for sockets wrenches and the like and i have some used snap-on tools one of them is the uh, battery tester and another is a is a bore scope up here is a UVX Bionic Shield. This guy is a great face protector. It protects you against impacts, liquids, welding hazards, grinding hazards and stuff. And when you scratch up the visor, you can thank your UVX face shield for protecting your beautiful mug. And then you can just go ahead and replace that visor with a brand new one, just pop in the new one. After you pop out the old one, you're good to go. Up on the ceiling here has some Impact Phillips bits from Irwin. Great shaker siphon hose. Uh, $19 for this one. Compare that to the same one on the Mako truck for $46.50. Yes, that's right. You've heard it correctly. Three-piece step drill bit set from K-Tool. I carry this one because it's like $35 and it has a lifetime warranty. The only other ones I saw with lifetime warranties are in the, the Mako and Mac trucks, and those cost like $180. At least, I haven't priced them out in a long time, but a few years ago, that's what they were costing. So... Save yourself 150 bucks. <laughs> There's a step down adapter for the Power Probe 3. This way you can inject five volt power 
into a computer subsystem in a car and not fry it with a 12 volt injection of power. So make sure that you know what you're doing before you start using power probes to inject power. And you may very well need this uh, step down adapter here. ESI has a really good infrared thermometer. This guy goes from 58 below Fahrenheit to 932 degrees Fahrenheit with a laser pointer on it. Easy to read display. 9 volt battery pops right in the handle. Some ESI back probes. That's a tractor trailer circuit tester from IPA. Some left handed drill bits from Irwin. Safety glasses from Milwaukee and individual nail brushes like the ones I showed you in the three pack. Lyle has a really good spring loaded center punch and I have CTA and Milton air chucks as well as pocket blowers. I keep what stock I can of gloves up here. I've been selling about three or four cases of gloves a week to certain shops that buy them from me. So when I uh, when I'm when I'm able to keep up with it, I keep my uh, stock for everyone else up here. Unfortunately, all I have right now are three individual boxes of gloves, but I got more on the way. I'm always ordering, every week I'm ordering another four or five cases of gloves. Ingersoll Airtool Grease, conditioning discs from 3M, as well as the three inch ones. These are the two inch, those are the three inch. Marvel Airtool Oil here in four ounce bottles. And Blundstone work boots are the ones that I've been carrying since uh, Redback seems to have evaporated. So we're getting Blundstone now. Boots are built at least as good as their Redback ones and the pricing's right about the same. This is a new work light from Coast. And I have this one out as a demo. It has this great clamp base on it with soft jaws magnets on the back so you can stick it to something made out of ferrous metal and when you take this off you can set it down and the whoops and I knock it over come on I'm trying to demo this and the clamp becomes a base the head swivels and pivots and in the back here is a rubber cover that covers the charging port and the power bank port Here's the power button here, comes on low, and then goes to medium and high. Rather strong light. And now we can light up the things where the light bulbs need to be replacing and see in the back of the shelves. They have this one, it's rated for 1750 lumens. And they have a larger one rated for over 36 or 3900 lumens. So I have that out as a demo because I'm putting them on the shelves now. The greatest thing about this one is not only the $120 price tag, which is less than other comparable work lights, but a lifetime warranty. And I don't know of any other work lights that have lifetimes on them. So that's why I got this. I'm a big fan of Coast anyway. So if I normally get their headlamps, and their flashlights, I'm certainly going to give their work lights a try because big fan of the brand and they have great products, easy warranty process, pricing's excellent compared to other brands. I'm a big fan. Here's the Maxion Cyclops LED work lights. These are the ones with the magnetic swivel base. They're small, compact, easy to lose. Yes, that's right. Tie a ribbon or something on them to so you can see it before the car drives away with your light on it. Power Probe has a modular work light system. This is the four light modules that go in one base unit. Base unit has magnets on the back and a charging port. Each module pops out and they have their own hooks and magnets on each module. Each module is 250 lumens, so you get a thousand lumens total out of the entire unit. These induction headlamps have been stupid popular. I'm selling this two pack here for 40 bucks or $25 each. And uh, I can't keep enough on the truck. So I just restocked on them. And every, every time I restock, some go right away. And I have, uh, I don't know, more on order too, because yeah, I, I, I just can't keep up with the demand on these excellent lights. 
they're light duty. I'm not going to go ahead and recommend that, they, that they're good for all day, every day. Uh, heavy work like you might use something heavier duty like the Coast ones for, but these are terrific light duty lights. They have a spotlight on the side there, there, and an LED strip on the front, and they have a setting where if you just wave your hand by the sensor, it turns on and off. This is a K-Tool wireless Bluetooth earbuds. They recharge in this case, and you can operate all the functions using capacitive touch, so the touch sequence will dictate the function of the earbuds, whether they're on, off, answering calls, hanging up on calls, uh, playing and pausing music, activating the voice function on your phone, <clears throat> listen to music with these, talk on your phone. I use them every day and I love them. This is the micro stream light from Streamlight. They have a very handy pocket clip that you can use for your cap brim or of course your work shirt pocket. <clears throat> Rechargeable with the USB cord. Lifetime warranty on them. Streamlight also has these incredibly popular pocket mate lights. They have a little carabiner for your key ring, and along the back, they have a clip for your ball cap rim. These come in silver, red, blue, and pink. Some neck lights from Easy Red. They have three colors of these the orange, the green, and other red. Independent light heads both operate and charge separately. No battery pack on the back there, so it's comfortable to use laying down on your creeper because you're not resting the back of your head against the battery pack. Put them on your neck, put them around your head. Very versatile, very handy. You can aim each of these light heads independently too. I keep straight razor blades, pack of 100, for replacing the razors that come in these Titan razor scrapers. This is a nice overmold of, of rubber on a plastic body. Remove that safety cap and it exposes the razor. Eight bucks for those. They're just a great handy little razor scraper. Down here we have a wrench extender from Vim. This is the 15 inch wrench extender you've seen on my, um, my tool haul videos. <clears throat> they also have maybe the best 84 piece hex and torx bit socket set on the market, that's right, I said on the market, is it better than Snap-ons and Bluepoint? Well, it's about $700 less expensive than Snap-on, and it's about $200 less than the Bluepoint one, and it's comparable in every way. That's right, I said every way. And now that is going to invite people from telling me how wrong they think I am by saying that no, the Snap-on one is way better. It's not, it's way more expensive. The 92, Standard and metric gear wrench wrench sets are always on the shelf here because they sell so frequently. 16 piece metric, 14 piece standard. These come with a plastic wrench holder in the box. I've been selling the crap out of these. This is the V8 Crowfoot wrench set. This goes from one and one sixteenth inch to two inches, half inch drive on every piece. They're on sale for $164.99. All the diesel and bus guys have been buying those. Here's a set of gear wrench hex sockets. Power Probe 3. This is what you would use that step down adapter for that I showed you. You just pop off the probe there and stick that adapter in between them and now you're outputting 5 volts of power when you use the power injection feature. These are some wrench holders from Ernst. Easy Red has a nice set of magnetic trays. These are the collapsible trays that are coming orange, green, and red. Not the strongest magnet in the world, but they're very good for holding small parts and things you don't want rolling away. Quality for the money on swivel sockets or universals. Gearmanch calls them flex sockets. This great metric set I think is 150 bucks and you compare that to anyone else's price on those and you'll find that these come out ahead even the 3 8 ones are I think $180 and I know that on the other tool trucks you'll see them for over $500 this is a quick lock angle die grinder from Astro big fan of these because you don't need two wrenches to loosen or tighten the cobble just use that push button back there which locks the head while you use one single wrench so you're less fussing around easier to swap out 
your backing pads or or wheels or whatever you're putting on them gear wrench has the best price on six-piece oil filter canister sockets now you can get these in lyle and cta and other brands too but i found that gear wrench has the best price on them so that's the one i put on the truck and then sonics has this indispensable set of quarter inch drive bits as well as a ratchet and an extension in the same beautiful red anodized aluminum case popular set that has tamper-proof Torx, regular Torx, slotted screwdriver bits, Phillips screwdriver bits, hex driver bits. It's like $50.99. It's a great set for that price. And I'm selling, uh, I'll, I'll sell a few of those every week. And OTC has a hose cutter that goes up to one and one half inch hoses. This has a straight blade, unlike that one that I showed you earlier from SG Tool, which has the pointy triangular blade. Down here we have automotive test leads from ESI. Digital and click torque wrenches from Gear Wrench. One of the best values in torque wrenches anywhere. Uh, you can't beat the price when you compare to other tool trucks. The digital ones are spectacular. They are full featured. They have angle. They have the 120 XP mechanism in the head. So you only need a three degree arc swing to engage your, your, your bolt. And they're about half the price as the snap on a Mako one. So no reason to consider another one, to be honest with you. You're not getting a better torque wrench if you spend twice the price. This is the Power Probe Soldering Kit. Powered with butane. This guy is the de facto. I keep it on the truck all the time. No one has ever asked me for a different brand, so, so I always carry. Astro's got a pretty inexpensive digital circuit tester this is the one that displays the voltage on an lcd screen on the handle of the tester the reason i have this is because about half the price is the lyle one the difference is this one has a one-year warranty lyle has a lifetime warranty so for about an extra 50 bucks you're buying a warranty this is the marson click fast riveting gun heavy duty all metal construction terrific option for for everyday use if you're riveting a lot you can buy less expensive plastic ones but those are for light duty use only use this one if you need a little heavier duty application another one of the quick lock die grinders no more of those sunx bit driver sets i'm a fan of the master brand butane torch I was selling the Power Probe for a while, but I saw a rate of failure on those I wasn't happy with. Switch to the Master ones. They're five bucks less expensive, and they don't fail like the Power Probe ones do. Astro has a great punch and chisel set. I bragged about this for a long time on tool haul videos. This is a 16-piece set that has taper punches, center punches, pin punches, cold chisels, and a chisel punch gauge. And the price on these is stupid cheap. It's less than 50 bucks. Lyle has a very good master disconnect set. You can buy all the pieces individually if you want to. All the colored pieces there uh, come separately, but this is a great all around set. Three piece reducing adapter set from Sun X goes half inch to, sorry, three quarter to half inch, half inch to three eighths and three eighths to one quarter. Lifetime warranty. On these which is why i get them because the the adapter piece always twists off other brands don't necessarily have a warranty like gray pneumatic so i keep the sun x ones on the truck and the astro carbide burst sets are great this eight piece set is just over 100 bucks and you compare that to four piece sets for twice the price you're going to pay four times less for eight carbide burrs from astro than you will on other tool trucks astro also has a terrific digital tire inflator and as far as i know this is the same one that is sold under the blue point brand this one's 130 bucks i think it is or 135 or something this is powered by AAA batteries so it's more convenient than the ones that are powered with the watch style batteries it has a beautiful braided stainless hose easy to read display and a nice rubber overmold 
extractor bits from K Tool. These are the torque screw extractors, 11 piece set. Use a straight die grinder from Ingersoll Rand. I have a quarter drive magnetic impact socket set from Gray Pneumatic. This one goes from 5 to 15 millimeters. Here's an individual 2 amp hour Milwaukee M12 battery. Here's a couple of drill sets from Ken Cuts. I've talked about these guys a lot in some of my previous videos. 29 pieces. It goes from 1 16th of an inch to 1 half inch in 16 inch in increments. Beautiful metal index. The bits and the index are both made in the United States of America. I think I'm selling these for $315. No, they do not have a warranty on them. But if you use them properly, you will not have to suffer the realities of broken bits until you simply worn them out after a lifetime of use. So use them carefully. Here's the rules I have for these to make sure that you're happy with them for a long, long time. Number one, do not start a pilot hole first. Use these to drill the entire hole because the bit tips on this are not designed to go into an existing hole. Number two, do not use these to enlarge a hole, which is the same thing as starting a pilot hole first. That's not how they're intended to be used. Number three, go slow. Use pressure over RPM. Number four, use cutting oil to keep the bit cool and lubricated. And number five, do not lend them out to anybody because they cost you a lot of money. And if you learn the best way to use these, I promise that the person that borrows them from you will not treat them nearly as nicely and he's going to give you back broken or dulled bits. So don't lend them out. Great stubby combo wrenches from Sonex. The metric set up here, the standard set down here. The standard is the only set that I know of that goes to an inch on the stubbies. And then back there is a long handled riveter from Astro. On the front of the shelf here, I have some Nano Impact sockets from Astro. These are the half inch drive. I just sold the 3 8 set that I had. These are short. They have a bolster on them for a wrench and a square drive in the back for your ratchet. Little adapter set from Gear Wrench. Some more of the universal sockets. Some standard deep well sockets. And here are the bolt biter sockets from Gear Wrench. This is the 8 piece set costs like 84 bucks and I like these better than the Irwin sets. These are less expensive and they have straight fluting as opposed to Irwin that has spiral fluting. So you can use these to both loosen and tighten bolts. Or if you have a left-handed bolt, these will work on that. I got called out by a viewer who said, he's calling BS. He says, there's no way that those cost $84 and they're not less than the Irwin ones when he said he saw the Irwin set for $30. Well, I looked around I looked on Amazon and that Irwin set was $91.70. So I put it back to him. I said, give me a link. Where are the $30 ones? I don't see them. And these are less expensive than even the Amazon price of the Irwin ones. And I do believe they're a superior product. Up on the ceiling, we've got Davco fewer filter wrenches from Lyle. An 18 inch long pneumatic chisel bit, as well as a hammer bit from SG Tool. Klein crimpers that have beautiful long high leverage handles on them. Here's an easy red magnetic pickup tool that extends to like 48 inches. It's really long. Here's a U snap on breaker bar. Over here I've got some individual needle nose locking pliers from Milwaukee. More Klein crimpers. Nipex cable cutters. And three different sizes of Irwin dial cutters. Mueller Cupes has a great wrench extender. It's a toss up between this one and this one from Vim. Both are excellent. Both are slightly different though. The Vim is a high polish 15 inch long one with a comfort grip handle. And it accepts a wider beam in its jaws than the Mueller one, which will accept a narrower beam this one's 13 inches long, but has a square drive hole in the handle, so you can attach a breaker bar to it if this does not give you the leverage that you need. Vim also has these terrific 
crimper stripper tools that everybody seems to love and use. I have some Channel Lock brand strippers. Some more of the Vin crimper stripper tools. Milwaukee has a really cool set of strip, uh, strippers, crimpers, uh, pliers. It's a really great multi-tool. Some bolt cutter holes in there. This little guy does everything. There's another Marson riveter out for display and I have Amflow long reach dual head air chucks. A cool adjustable mirror from SE tools. You push the plunger then you can articulate the mirror head on it. And a display of or selection of quarter eighth, sorry, quarter three eighths and half inch ratchets from Gear Wrench, both their 90 tooth comfort grip handle, their full polish handle, their 120 XP mechanism in both the uh, short, medium, and long handle variety, as well as the long half inch. This is a, a dual foot tire gauge from K-Tool. You can adjust the calibration on it yourself, which is great. I've never seen one before. These are the twin grip pliers from Nipex. A five position adjustable jaw with a push button. These jaws are very similar to the Vampire ones that I showed you. They will grip hose clamps and bolt and screw heads from both the side and the end. Very versatile and they're only 58 bucks. Replacement hoses for Amflow tire chucks and this is the tire chuck and gauge combo unit from Amflow. Over here we have some pocket pry bar, some Lang, that's a two-piece set. I've got one of the Mayhew two-piece sets left. I'll be reordering those soon. Vampire has a really nice set of heavy-duty combination scissors. Not only do they cut stuff like a regular pair of scissors, on the back side of the blade is a box cutting blade. And they have a little, little wire cutter in there too. Excellent unit. I got some cheapy pry bars here if people want a quick and dirty pry bar and not spend much money. I got those with the green handles. Some thin solder that people like for automotive applications. Uh, most tool trucks carry the heavier gauge that aren't so popular and both white and yellow paint pens. I get those from Uline. Some button batteries. Those are the LR44s for your calipers and other things that have the small button batteries. Some wire wheels, cutting wheels, adapters. And over here I have a selection of gear wrench Deblo hammers. These are some of the less expensive bargain tiered K tool mallets. Brass hammer from Gear Wrench, ball peen hammer from Gear Wrench. That's the soft face hammer from Gear Wrench. And I have some new Milwaukee dead blow hammers. I'm waiting for more to come in. This is a 28 ounce hammer. Nice, secure, firm grip you get on the handle there with a hole for hanging it or putting a landing on it. The head has a square slot on or square spot on it so you can stand this up on the head without it falling over. This is the long adjustable extendable pry bar from Gear Wrench. And in here I have K-Tool Creepers and Lyle Creepers. Prices are different. This is $109.99, $149.99. This Lyle one has a lifetime warranty on the plastic deck. The entirety of the K-Tool one has a one-year warranty. I've got a, that 10-piece set of Milwaukee locking pliers I told you about when I showed you the 5-piece set. Someone specifically ordered this. He wants, he's, he does want the C-clamp style pliers in here, so he's getting that. And over here I just have a bunch of miscellaneous individual sockets, bits, wrenches, both for chrome and impact. And uh, over here I keep my own stuff just for either restock or I have some empty boxes of things that I'll keep if I need them out that I've that I've um, used for swap out warranties and stuff. Overstock up here on beef jerky and trail mix snacks. I keep trail mix over here and lollipops there and the beef jerky gets displayed here. So it sways tantalizingly close to your face while you're standing here and checking out your merchandise. 
Um, it's it's a great it's a great impulse buy. A lot of guys know me for the jerky now, and we'll get on the truck specifically to grab a bag. <laughs> Over on this panel, I've got Forma funnels, disconnect pliers, solder holders, mini grease guns, micro drill drivers, caliper hangers, the large and the regular size Forma funnels, blow guns from Astro. Lying slack adjusters, feeler gauges from Lang, as well as more hose removal pliers from Lyle, and the lift support clamp from Lyle. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you're a tool truck customer, compare this to what you see on other tool trucks that you visit every week. And if you operate a tool truck, take a look and see if there's any ideas that you can come up with. For products that you want to carry and also please leave in the comments stuff that you either enjoy buying as a customer or stuff that you sold with good success as a tool truck retailer because it's a great way that we can all learn from each other now keep watching the channel because i've got some very interesting videos coming out including some new air tool repair videos and of course our regular tools in the hall segment so do me a favor and click down here now to subscribe so that you don't miss any of it Thank you so much for watching and remember, use a tool, don't be one.